Hello, hello. Welcome. Rolando, hello. Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. Josue, how are you, Josue? Fine. Fine, thanks. Continue, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> no interruption, Jose. Continue. <laughs> nice, nice. Welcome. Eat yeah, ice I know. cream. I okay, that's okay. <laughs> don't worry. Continue, right? And Rolando, you have some hearts back on, on your wall, right? Some hearts. Some hearts. Eh, Corazones. Some heart. right? Hearts. On your wall. En la pared, right? Eh, corazones duros. No, corazones. Ah. En la pared. <laughs> eh, 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 enfermera. Nurse. Eh, nurse. Nurse uh -huh. Day. Ah, nurses, nurses Day, Nurses Day. Nurses Day, okay. Good, now let's start. Today we're going to talk about families, right? So I, I have prepared something for you, the PowerPoint presentation. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, Juan Alfonso, welcome. Welcome to the class. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just start with the show. November 16, right? Pre-intermediate module one, the last week, right? This is the last week. And today we're going to talk about families, a conversation about asking about families. Uh, we're going to learn about a video about the present continuous or the present progressive, right? This is for today. Now let's start reading the objective. Please, Juan Alfonso, read the objective for today, please. Okay. In this lesson, participants will, will be able to able? listen. Able? To, to able, able mm -hmm. to, to listen to a conversation about families using present continuous. Good. So the conversation is to open the topic about present continuous, right? Now let's go and check the vocabulary, right? Vocabulary. So listen, please. Government, project, wildlife. Away, college, job, right? Only that. Yeah. Good. Repeat after me, please. Government. Government. Project. Project. Wildlife. Wildlife away, away, college, college, job, job. Good, my dear students, do you have any question? Government teacher. Government is government. Biden in United States. Biden. Uh, in United States. Pres president. The president. The minister, Gobernante. Right? Yes. Okay. Mr. Nayib Bukele is the president of El Salvador, right? Mr. Trump is the president of the United States, but we have a new Biden. Week. Biden. Yes. Biden. That's the government, right? Yeah. Okay. Any other question? No questions? Okie dokie. So let's continue, right? Now we're going to learn about the present continuous or present uh, progressive, right? Rolando, read the vocabulary, the, the objective, sorry. 
at the end of the lesson, participant will be able to ask an answer question. Using, using, using the present continuous. Okay. Using the present continuous. Or the present progressive is the same, right? Present continuous and present progressive is the same. No difference. Now, what is the present continuous, ladies and gentlemen? The present continuous expresses actions in progress now. Right? Algo que está en progreso, algo que está pasando ahorita, right? For example... Hurricane Iota is coming to El Salvador, right? Ojalá que como tormenta tropical, ¿verdad? Esperamos que sí. But Iota is coming to El Salvador, right? Uh, they are using the, the letters of the, alpha, the Greek alphabet, right? Están usando las letras del alfabeto griego para nombrar estos últimos huracanes, right? So, uh -huh. Eta, Iota, those are letters from the Greek, Greek alphabet, right? Okay, anyway, so Huracán Iota is coming. So it's happening this now, right? Now it's in San Andres, Colombia, and in Nicaragua, right? In this moment. El Salvador will be hit on Wednesday. Uh, we're supposed to have classes, but in, any emergency, I will tell you, right? Now let's continue, right? Use a form of be in a present participle, right? What is a form of the verb to be? A form of the verb to be is, well, let me show you here. Subject. Just give me a second. No, wait, wait, give me a second. The verb to be, right, in present is. Eh. Um, are, and is, right? Okay, and a present participle. What is a present participle? A present participle, it's a verb. To, oops, sorry. What happened here? Okay, plus... I-N-G, right? A present participle is a verb plus I-N-G, okay? So these are the requirements for, for the present continuous, right? The requirements. Just give me a second here. Okay. Give me a second. Eh, parece ser que Luis Carranza no se ha podido conectar. Regálame un segundito. Uh, okay. Let's continue, right? Um, here, right? Okay. So, one example... One example of uh, present progressive, right? A sentence or present continuous, right? Uh, sorry, give me a second. So, Alicia, hágame un favorazo, Alicia. ¿Cree que en el yes, WhatsApp me, me le manda a Luis Carranza en el WhatsApp el teléfono de, del compañero del de área técnica, Jonathan? Guzmán. Okay. Por favorcito, gracias. Okay. So, continue, please. The subject, the verb to be, the verb plus ing plus the complement, right? Look, the subject, it could be whatever, right? I, you, he, they, right? The verb to be, um, are, or is, right? The verb watch plus ing, and then the complement, right? So I am watching TV in this moment, right now, right? Is the action is in progress. It's happening, right? Está pasando ahorita. Another example is you are shaving right now. Shave, right? 
shaving. So again, the subject is you, the verb to be are, the verb shave, plus ing, and then the complement. Notice that the verb shave will eliminate the... Eh, eh, Rolando, por favor, no me va a morder al vecino ahí, el perrito. <laughs> okay, so this is the way we, we work with the, with the present participle. Look. Number one, we are ing, right? Example. Work plus ing equal to say working, right? Uh, the verb, give me a second, the verb, uh, Make, for example, right? Oops. Give me a second here. Number two, right? The verb uh, make plus ing equal to say making, right? What happened with the with the verb with the letter e? What happened with the letter E? We eliminate the letter E and then we copy um, ING, right? So we say making. Good. And rule number three. Rule number three. We're going to see it. Ya la vamos a ver. Solo la estoy eh, introduciendo. Presentando estas reglas. Okay. Double. No, wait. Consonant plus vowel plus consonant we double the last consonant and we are ing. For example, hit. Hit, right? Plus ing. Notice that hit has a consonant H, has a vowel I, and has another consonant, hit, T, right? So consonant, vowel, consonant. So we say hitting, double T, right? Hitting. So those are the rules. One, two, and three. One is only L-I-N-G. Two, eliminate the E. Eliminate the E and add ING. And then consonant, vowel, consonant, double the last consonant, and then add ING, right? Other example could be uh, run, run, running, right? Run, running. Okie dokie. So let's continue with the presentation of PowerPoint, right? Um, okay, continue. She is getting money, right? So notice consonant, vowel, consonant, with double the last T, and then we are ING, right? We have the three rules, eh? Good. This is the way we make affirmative statement. Now, negative statement. So, yet again, verb to be, am, um, and is, the word not, plus the verb, Plus ing, ma, eh, ma, sorry. plus complement, right? Plus complement. For example, we are not making lunch. Can we make contraction here? Yes, of course. You can say, we aren't making lunch. Carlos is not reading a book. Can we make contraction? Yes, of course. Carlos isn't reading. A book. She is not listening to music, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sorry, Luis, todavía no nos puede escuchar, Luis. Ya arregló su problema. Sorry. Luis. No, creo que no nos oye, Luis. Tiene problemas con el audio y con el micrófono. Sorry. 
Ok. Pero ya le envié el, ah, el, el, el contacto. Me, me el imagino que ahorita. Teacher. Espero que ahorita le estén ayudando. Sí. Gracias, Alicia. Thank you very much. You're very nice. Th thank you, thank you for your support. Lo tengo ahí en el teléfono, pero todo lo que lo busco. Ok. Now, let's continue, right? Uh, so, I don't know if you have any question about the use of affirmative and negative statement with uh, present progressive. Questions? Teacher, no? yes, I have me. a question. Tell me. Este, el verbo, digamos, I am studying. Studying. Uh -huh. Nice, studying. Mm -hmm. eh, me lo podría explicar porque termina con Y. Ok. So, let me see. Uh, here, aquí lo vamos a poner en esta esquinita. Study, right? Study. Stay. Play. Cry. Right? So what are yes. you going to do? You are ING? 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 ING. Simple like that. So it's rule number one. Add ING. Simple. No complications. No pain, no gain. <laughs> Understand? Yes, sí. Yes, eh, yes. Hay, un, hay, un, hay un examen donde la he escrito así y de varias formas y no me la... Por eso le preguntaba. No me la está tomando como correcta. Mm. Pero ahí vamos. But it's, but it's not the simple yeah. path, right? Pero no es el pasado simple, ¿verdad, Rolando? No, porque no. el pasado simple es, sí se cambia. Yes. Es presente continuo. Ok. Tampoco es tercera persona singular. She cries. No. She studies. No, tampoco. Bueno, no. habría, habría que ver qué punto es, Rolando. Y si quiere, pues, sí. ahorita mismo le damos jaque. <ríe> ahorita mismo lo vemos, después, si quiere. Después, va. Sí. Como tengo ocupado el, el phone. Ok, good. Mejor después lo mando. Gracias, Excellent. thank you, teacher. Excelentoso. Ok, let's continue, right? Let's continue. Let me see here. Ok. Good. So, any extra question, class, about the use of present continuous or present progressive, affirmative, negative? Ok, so repeat after me, please. I am watching TV. You are shaving right now. She is getting money. Alicia is getting money. All the time. Oh, no. no, I'm kidding, Alicia. <laughs> it's not true, I know. <laughs> okay, now, negative. We are not making lunch. Repeat, please. We are not making lunch. We aren't making lunch. Carlos is not reading a book. Carlos isn't reading a book. She is not listening to music. She isn't listening to music. Or you can say, she's not listening to music. Okie dokie. Now, here we have the rule, right? Pay attention. Number one, add ing to most verbs. You know, la mayoría, el 99% de los verbos. 99.99. You know. .99. Okay? So you add ing. Watch, watch it, right? Number two, drop the e, right? Eliminar, borrar, destruir, apartar, caput. The letter E, and then you add ing, right? Make, making. And if the verb has a consonant, vowel consonant, like this, get consonant G, vowel E, consonant T. You double the last consonant, in this case is the T, and then you add ing, getting, right? 
Understand? Yes. Yes. Simple three rules. No more. And you can use this, listen, as not only as a present participle, but remember ing words are also adjectives and also uh, um, nouns, right? Nouns. How come, you say? Uh -huh. Lo pres Las palabras con ing también son nombres y son adjetivos. Uh -huh. How come? Como así, right? So I will show you. I will show you right now. Okay, give me a second here. Okay. ING words. Oops. Words. Number one, as adjective, right? Adjectives. Uh, the crying baby. The working hours. Right? So in this case is el niño chillón, el niño llorón, right? Eh, las horas de trabajo, working hours. So then you say, ah, this is not present continuous. No, it's not present continuous, right? Uh, because sometimes you find words when you're reading, when you're watching a video, when you're singing a song, you find words with ing, right? Hay un montón de palabras con ing. Pero no todas son presente participio, right? In this case, these are adjectives. There are also nouns, right? Nouns. Example, you can say, let's go swimming. Okay. Uh, I like to go horse back writing. Me gusta montar a caballo, right? So, swimming, it's a noun. Because it goes after a verb, right? Va después de un verbo, right? La, eh, writing is also another, right? Because, well, hay una palabra aquí, pero eh, we have after the verb like, right? Writing. So, these are nouns. Right? Also now as gerund, right? También conocidos como gerundios. Los gerundios en inglés, ando, endo, ando, endo, right? Eh, son nombres. They are now, right? Los gerundios. Y, and the present participle, right? Y los que estamos viendo ahorita, que son los presentes participios. Participles, right? Eh, que son los verbos que indican una acción, right? They are verbs. For example, I am working. She is sleeping. They were speaking. I will I will be running. No, este no. No, dejémoslo ahí. Hasta ahí. They were speaking. She's sleeping. I am working. So we use the verb to be. This is present continuous, right? Este ejemplo es de pasado continuo. Simple path, right? But the word working, sleeping, and speaking indicates action. Cuando estas palabras indiquen acción, entonces es un presente participio. Es un verbo, right? Porque es la acción principal, right? Pero cuando vayan después de otro verbo o en otra posición, como sujeto del, como complemento de, del sujeto o después de una preposición, estos van a ser nombres, swimming, writing, ¿sí? Y cuando van antes de un nombre, como en este caso de crying, antes del nombre baby, o working, antes del nombre hours, van a ser adjetivos, ¿ok? Esto no es parte de la clase, no se preocupe, no está en la plataforma, es para que ustedes eh, les queden claro que no todas las palabras que llevan ING son verbos, no todas, ¿verdad? Ok. So let's continue with the PowerPoint presentation. 
Okay. Good. Now. <clears throat> yes, no question. How to make yes, no question with the present continuous, right? We use this, the verb to be and the subject. In this case, listen. Remember the what is the formula for, for affirmative? Look. For affirmative, subject plus be. Now, this is the opposite. Be plus subject. Right? Be plus subject. So, we change the position of the verb to be and the subject. Instead of say, you are, we say, are you. Are you checking your WhatsApp? Right? Are they running right now? Running, not this double N, right? Is Carol listening to music? Right. And then you answer this question with, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Like they were simple uh, verb to be question, right? Como que fueran simples preguntas con el verbo to be. Igual se responde, right? Con el auxiliar. En este caso, el verbo to be es auxiliar, right? Okay, now information questions. Uh, WH word, then the verb to be, then the subject. Where are my friends fishing today? Here you don't say, yes, they are. They are. Yeah, 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 no. Yes, they are. No. Oh, no, they are not. No, no. This is specific information. Where? Where are my friends fishing today? In La Libertad Port. In La Libertad Harbor, right? Harbor. They are fishing there, right? What is he wearing now? WH word, verb to be, subject, verb plus ing, and then the complement, right? When are you sleeping? <coughs> When are you sleeping? Okay. Good. Now I have a question for you. What is the only question in present continuous that you cannot answer yes? The only question, the only yes, no question, yes, no question, that you can never answer yes. ¿Cuál es la pregunta que nunca podemos contestar con sí si nos la preguntan usando el presente continuo? ¿Cuál será? It's the riddle. Riddle, right? Un acertijo. Riddle. <laughs> What is the question? Ana María? Do you know? La única pregunta, Ana María. Que... La, única pre... La única pregunta con el presente continuo que usted no puede contestar con sí. Nunca puede decir sí. What is the question? Sería. <laughs> no, ok. I will tell you, right? uh, The only question that you can not answer, la única pregunta que no puede contestar con sí, usando el presente continuo, es: ¿Are you sleeping? ¿Are you sleeping? A ver, contéstenmela con sí, a ver si pueden. <laughs> ok. ¿Do you understand? Okay, good. Let's continue. Please repeat after me. Please repeat after me. Are, are you checking your WhatsApp? Are they running right now? Oigo un eco por ahí. Creo que hay un micrófono encendido. Um, um, Eric, hello Eric. Ah, ahí está. Ok, thank you, thank you very much, Eric. Ok, oops, let's continue, please repeat after me. Are you checking your WhatsApp? Are they running right now? Is Carol listening to music? And then you have to, yes. Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh, yes. Este, no logré escuchar cuál era la pregunta. <laughs> la pregunta es. Are you sleeping? Por qué, teacher? Por 
porque si le preguntan a usted, ¿está durmiendo? Ah, está no? dormida. ¿Cómo va a contestar si está dormida? Ay, qué malo, teacher. Era... Vaya. Are you sleepy, right? Pásela, pásela ahí a la familia y pregunte lo mismo. Ok, good. Now repeat after me, please. Where are my friends fishing today? What is he wearing now? When are you sleeping? Okay, good. Do you have any question, class? Any question? Okay, no. let's go to the practice, right? Lorena, siempre en la rebusca, Lorena, la felicito. La admiro muchísimo, eh. Ahí está con su teléfono y su computadora para que la escuchemos. <risa> Thank you, Lorena. Thank you very much. Solo por eso le vamos a hacer una pregunta a Lorena. Ok. Lorena, answer this question. Are you studying? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, Lorena? Yes or no. Vale, vamos a dejar esta Lorena. Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Le vamos a dejar esta a Miguel, right? Are, hello. Are they relaxing? Vamos a copiarla. Okay. Are they relaxing, Miguel? Yes. Yes. They, yes. they are. Yes, they are. Simple like that. Yes, they are, right? Okay. Good. Thank you. Now, let me see. Eh, Miguel resolvió lo de la plataforma. Miguel. Eh, yes, teacher. Ah, solamente okay. que, bueno, El apóstrofe, sí, ¿verdad? Todo, pero... El apóstrofe es lo que <ríe> sí. molesta ahí. <ríe> sí, exacto. Es, es que uno lo pone como, como acento, pero no, es el apóstrofe. ¿verdad? Tiene que buscar ahí una computadora, Miguel, para, para responderlo, aunque sea un ciber. <ríe> ok, good. Continue, please. Now, Lorena, are you ready, Lorena? Hello. Lorena. Yes, Lorena. Tiene la respuesta, Lorena. Si no la tiene, pues entiendo que, que no es cuestión de micrófono. ¿verdad? No. Hello. No, okay, good. So, Abel, help me, please, with number one. Are you studying? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Thank you. When the question is with you, you answer with I, right? When the question is with you, you answer with I. Yes, I am, right? Now, let me see. Teacher. Uh, Yes, en contracción también. Podemos ponerlo en contracción. O siempre tenemos que poner completo. I am. Mm, yes. Ok. Yes, yes. Ok, only in negative. Look, in negative. Eh, look. No. Apóstrofe. No, I'm not. Ese es el apóstrofe. En mi caso, en mi tablero lo tengo a la parte del cero. Por eso... No sale así. Not, right? I'm not. So here we can make contraction in a negative. Look. Also okay. here, right? Thank you. No. They aren't. No, they aren't, right? So we can make contractions in negative. But in affirmative, never say, yes, I'm. Yes, there. No, no never, right? Okay. Now let's continue. What are they cooking? Aha, uh -huh. the situation changes here, right? Let me see. Um, quiero ver cómo estamos con Luis. ¿Será que ya le resolvieron? Luis, Luis Alberto. Hello, Luis. No, todavía no, ¿verdad? Eric. Hello, Eric. Mr. Castellanos. Tampoco, ¿verdad? Bueno, ah, la tecnología no juega tantas bromas, ¿verdad? A mí también 
muchas veces he tenido problemas con la tecnología, pero aquí estamos, ni modo, ¿verdad? Sigámosle. Juan Alfonso, please. What are they cooking? What? I will What? help with Spanish, What? right? Sí, okay. ¿Qué, ¿Qué están cocinando, Juan Alfonso? Mm -hmm. First, what is the subject? Prim para comenzar, ¿cuál es el sujeto? Day. Day. Day, day, day correct. Day. Day. Luego, ¿qué viene, Juan Alfonso? Day, day not. Ajá, pero recuérdese cuáles son las características. El verbo to be. Ok. Y. ¿Cuál sería el verbo to be aquí, Juan Alfonso? Is, are, or am? Is. They is? No. Mm. They are. They are. Ahora viene el verbo con ing, right? ¿Cuál es sí. el verbo? Cooking. Cooking. They are cooking. Ahora sí esta respuesta es suya, ¿verdad? Póngame, dígame aquí... Cualquier cosa que esté cocinando ahí, maruchan, chicken, <laughs> fish. They are cooking? Pizza. Pizza. Oh. Excellent. They are cooking pizza. That's okay. They are cooking pizza. Good. Next one, please. Claudia Castro. Welcome, Claudia. So, Welcome. Okay, listen. Is moving to a new house, Claudia? What? Is, ¿Cómo? Is she moving? No, say what. Come on. <laughs> is she moving to a new house? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Perfect, right? Thank you, Claudia. Okay. Okay. Yes, she is, right? Now, uh, let me see. Alicia, please. Where are they playing, Alicia? They are playing um, football. Sorry, in? Football. Uh, they are... No, where? Where? Don't, ah, excuse me. Um, we're playing in the school? In the school. In the school, right? Okay, let me see. Vamos a agrandar esto por acá. School, right? Okay. They are playing in the school. Ok. Josué. Josué Campos, ¿are we getting the money? No, we aren't. No, we aren't, right? Here we can make contractions, eh? No, we aren't, right? Thank you, Josué. Now, um, let me see who, who else. Rolando, please. Is, is he buying a car? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Perfect. Okay. Mai. Hello, Mai. When are they exercising, Mai? When are they exercising? Comencemos con el sujeto, Mai. What is the subject? Day. 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 They, they are not. They are no, no, no. Wait. They are. This is a yes no. Is no a yes no question. Esta no es pregunta de sí y no, Mai. Es pregunta de when, time. Me va a contestar tiempo. 
tiempo, the time. Ok, ahora viene el verbo. ¿Cuál sería el verbo, May? ¿Cuál sería el verbo en la pregunta? When are they exercising? Vale, le vamos a echar una manita aquí. ¿verdad? Sería exercising. Exercising. Ok. Now, my. They are exercising. When? When? Tomorrow, right now. They are exercising on, on Sunday. On Sunday, good. Generalmente no hablamos de frecuencia en el presente continuo, right? Pero aquí sí es una excepción. They are exercising on Sunday, right? And to finish. ¿A quién no le hemos preguntado? A uh, Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Hello, teacher. Hello. Now, please answer this question, Cindy. Is the cat sleeping? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Perfect, right? Yes, it is. Okay, now, uh, this question is to Rosa. Hello, Rosa. Hello, teacher. What is the difference between this question? Look, are you studying? Are they relaxing? And what are they cooking? Where are they playing? When are they exercising? What is the difference? ¿Cuál sería la diferencia, Rosa? Eh, la diferencia es que en una solamente contestamos con yes or no. Or not, y en la otra sí damos, eh, tenemos que decir como cuándo, dónde, el lugar, el lugar, hora o, o de dónde se está haciendo la actividad. Listen to me. Cling. Correct. Excellent, right? So the difference is that one of these are yes, no questions, right? And the other are information questions, right? Now, any questions so far? No. No questions? No question. Okay, so don't forget that, right? Subject, verb to be, present participle, right? Subject, verb to be, present participle. Esa es la forma del presente continuo, right? Okay, now, let's go to the platform. Nos vamos a la plataforma, right? And... We start with section number five, ladies and gentlemen, the last section. And we, we're going to start talking about the conversation, asking about families, asking about families. Okay, watch the video, please. Unit five, is that right? In this case, section five. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government.
Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. She's working on a very secret project right now. Okay, now repeat, please. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. Wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Aselguate River. Ah, oh, no, no, sorry. In the Amazon. So I suppose the Aselguate is a wildlife place too, right? <laughs> okay. Now, listen to the conversation for the second time, right? And you repeat after the audio, right? Ready? Repeat, please. Families. Part A. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Okay. Only Juan Alfonso. Repeat, Juan Alfonso. Tell me about your brother and sister and Sue. Okay, thank you. Everybody, please repeat. Well, my sister works for the government. Okay. Alejandro, please. Only you, Alejandro. Hello, teacher. Repeat, please. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, my sister works for the government. Good. Eh, perdón la pregunta, Alejandro. Eh, usted te ha pedido un mansor, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Sí, es familiar de Miguel, porque Miguel parece que es de apellido Mansor, ¿verdad, Miguel? No son familia, no. Eh, no. No, es a coincidence, es a coincidence. Only Pero family. Soy, soy Calderón, teacher. Ah, no, no es un Mansor, es que como hoy recibí un mensaje. Yo le escribí, teacher Alejandro. Ah, vaya, sorry, pues yo me confundí porque a la vez estaba recibiendo los mensajes. Ah, no, Entonces, yo... Alejandro, no, no le respondí, ¿verdad, Alejandro? Eh, pero ya logré eh, solucionarlo, era el apóstrofe, me metí en otro dispositivo. Ah, ok. Sorry, mm. perdón. Que, pues, confundí los cables ahí, ¿verdad? Agarré el rojo por el azul. Y... <risa> I'm sorry. <risa> ok, let's continue. Thank you, let's continue. Now, eh, let me see. Eric, no está fallando el micrófono con Eric y Luis, ¿verdad? Abel, Abel, please. Only you, repeat, please. Oh, what does she do? Oh, what does she do? Excellent. Now, now this only uh, Miguel, please. Only you, Miguel. I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Uh -huh, Miguel, repeat. I said, uh, I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Good, that's it. Now, everybody, please. Oh, what does she do? Everybody, I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Good. Only Ana Maria, please. Only Ana Maria. Wow. And what about your brother? Wow. And what about your brother? Good, everybody. Oh, wow. And what about your brother? Rolando, please. Only you. He's a wildlife photographer. 
This is wildlife, wildlife photographer. Good. That's it, everybody. He's a wildlife photographer. Okay, Josue, please, Josue. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Everybody, what an interesting family. Can I meet them? Okay, only Alicia. Alicia? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. Okay, Alicia? Um, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. This month, right? <laughs> okay. Sisters away. Sisters away. Now, everybody. Sister oh, away. no. No, no, excuse me. No, no, no. Sorry. It's, uh, no. My sister's away. She is not working in the United States this month. Claudia, only you, Claudia. And your brother? And your brother? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Everybody, and your brother? And your brother? Okay, thank you, thank you, Claudia. Okay, now, next one, please. Uh, Cindy, please. Only you, Cindy, repeat. He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. Cool, good pronunciation. Everybody, he's traveling in the Amazon. Good. Now I need uh, just two volunteers to practice this conversation, please. Hands up. I need your participation. Me, teacher. Uh, who is it? Ana Maria? Suyapa. Suyapa. Yes, ah, teacher. Rosa, Rosa. Ah, okay. no, Rosa. Rosa, okay. And anybody and else? Me, teacher. Me, Abel, okay. Abel, right? Yo, Josue. <laughs> ah, Josue, Josue, sorry. Josue and Rosa. Ready? Uh, so, Josue, you are Rita, right? Okay. And, and, and then, Rosa, you are, you are Sue. Sue. Okay. okay. Uh, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Um, no, my sister waits. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. My goodness, congratulations. For a moment, I thought I was listening to the platform, right? For a moment, I pensé que estaba escuchando la plataforma, right? Very well. Uh, only this part, right? Look, esto sí es difícil de pronunciar. Mire, eh... Rosa, my sister's okay. away. My sister's, my sister's away. Uh -huh. Se une la S con la A, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. yes, my sister's okay. away. My sister's, <laughs> my sister's away. <laughs> Good. Now let's go to the next video. Let's go to the next video. Right. Ah, no, sorry. The knowledge check, right? The knowledge check. Ah, this is vocabulary. Oh, very easy. The vocabulary, right? Okay. So it, this is the family, right? This is family. Okay, so we have some people here. Andy, Marta, Chris, Sara, Donna, Manuel, Sam, Yumiko, Yumiko, sorry. Jim, Lisa, Teresa, uh, Kelly, and Jimmy, right? So, what you're going to do is simple, right? Just, just put this vocabulary, cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, and wife in every space here, for example, right? And to make this easy, remember some of this vocabulary are only, only girls and some of this vocabulary are only boys, right? For example, cousin is boys and girls. Father is boy, grandmother is 
uh, girl, niece is girl, sister-in-law is girl, uncle is boy, and wife is girl, right? With this information, you go and say, Andy is Sam's grandfather. Where is Andy? Uh, Andy, here, right? look at Andy. So Andy is Sam's grandfather, el papá, el abuelo de Andy, right? Amor, ¿dónde está Andy? Uh, sorry, ¿dónde está Sam? Sam, here, right? Here is Sam. Okay, good. And Marta is his. Y entonces, ¿quién sería, quién sería Marta? ¿Qué sería Marta de Andy? Ok. You copy here, right? Oops, por ahí se vio la, la respuesta. No, no vio nada, ¿verdad? Nadie vio nada. Ok, okay good, continue. Next one. Chris y Sam. ¿Qué es Chris de Sam? Aquí está. Chris, ¿qué es de Sam? Ok. No, no, no. No. Ok, sorry, sorry. Okay. No, 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 sí, no, no, sorry, pensé que iba a dar la respuesta. Bro. Manuel y Sams, ¿qué es Manuel de Sam? Right? Manuel de Sam. Está Manuel, Manuelito, y Sam está aquí, ¿verdad? Todos con buena dentadura. Mm -hmm. Ok, next one is Sam is married to Yumiko. So Yumiko is his. Si Sam está casada con Yumiko, ¿qué sería Yumiko de Sam, right? That's it, right? <laughs> okay, Sam has a brother. The brother is married to Lisa. So Lisa is Sam. Si Sam tiene un hermano, ese hermano está casado con Lisa, ¿qué sería Lisa de Sam? Aquí está. El hermano de Sam es Jim, ¿verdad? Entonces la esposa que es Lisa, right? ¿Qué sería de Sam? Esa es la, la pregunta. Yes. Ok. Uh, Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. So, she is Sam's. Teresa. Where is Teresa? Ah, uh, here, right? Is the daughter of Manuel. The daughter of Manuel. So, if Teresa is the daughter of Manuel... She is Sam's. ¿Qué sería Teresa de Sam? Aquí está, ¿verdad? Teresa and Sam, right? Ok, and finally, Jimmy and Lisa have two babies, Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's. ¿Qué sería Kelly? De Sam, right? No, 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 perdón. ¿Qué sería Kelly de, de... Ah, no, sí, ¿verdad? Kelly y Sam. Sorry, ya, ya me perdí con tanto nombre. ¿Qué es Kelly de Sam? Así sería, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm, let me see. Kelly y Sam. Ajá, that's it, right? ¿Qué sería Kelly de Sam? Good. And I made this famous question, right? Josué, parece alguien que me puede contestar esta pregunta. Josué, listen, please. Who is the son of your mother and your father that is not your brother, Josué? Me. You, correct. Come on, this boy is very smart. The son of your father and your mother that is not your brother is you. <laughs> okay, good. Nice. Any question about this exercise? No question. Do you understand the vocabulary? Cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, wife, right? No? Aquí nos faltó la mother-in-law, right? La monster-in-law, oh, sorry, mother-in-law. Right? Okay, now, let's continue with the last video and we finish the class. The present continues, ladies and gentlemen. Let's finish. Are you ready to study present continues? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. 
Before we begin, I want to remind you, pressing continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion box. Okay. So that's it, right? This is the class for today. Tomorrow I will read your commentaries. And remember that this week we have to finish, not on Friday. Esta vez no nos han dado hasta el viernes, sino que hasta el jueves para terminar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Así es que ponernos las pilas todos, terminar la sección 5 para que no tengan ese diploma ahí, ¿verdad? Recuérdense que el 30% de ese diploma me lo van a regalar, ¿ok? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Good, it's, it's only yours. Solo es de ustedes, el diploma, lo merecen. You deserve it, right? Good, so any, any extra question? ¿Alguna pregunta extra antes de terminar? Yo puedo preguntar algo que no sea de la clase. <laughs> ah, sí, 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 sí. Come on. Es que lo que sucede es que en el diploma del módulo anterior, um, Había un problema de, más bien de diseño. Mm. Y entonces cuando lo queríamos descargar, nos aparecía en, en como en diferentes hojas. Eh, ¿Alguno de ustedes ya lo logró obtener en completo? Rolando, no. creo, ¿verdad? Rolando creo que lo logró imprimir nítido, ¿verdad, Rolando? Fíjese, fíjese teacher, que... Yo no lo logré descargar, lo, hice ah. con, lo hicimos con captura de pantalla. Vaya, qué bien. Es no lo que... hice así, sí, porque lo que dice la compañera es verdad. Lo, en dos páginas salía y no podía sacarse en una sola. Y usted no Entonces, le puso hice... la mano a Alice y a todos los compañeros que aún no tienen el diploma, Rolando. Bien. Cuando... Sí, sí. Ah, okay. sí, sí. sí, sí, dígame a ver. Cuando lo descargan, le da una opción para imprimirlo. Ahí usted le da a imprimir y en la computadora le permite guardarlo como PDF a la hora de imprimirlo. Ahí usted solo selecciona eh, guardar como, como, PDF. Ajá, como PDF a la hora de imprimirlo, ¿verdad? como bueno. que lo está imprimiendo. Ya tenemos sí, dos. Eso, lo... Eso, ya lo, eso ya lo he hecho, pero dos siempre millones. se me no, ha pero ahí, le, ahí cambienle usted el tamaño de la página porque yo así lo hice este... El anterior ya lo, lo descargué y, y sí lo pude hacer así. Ok. Vaya, entonces Gracias. hagamos una cosa práctica, Alicia. Tanto Rolando como Abel creen que pueden escribirme esas ideas y la mandan al grupo. Para que los que aún no tienen su diploma del nivel anterior, pues obviamente que lo tengan. Y, y cuando les den este que viene ahorita, no tengan problema para imprimirlo, ¿sí? Si me hacen el favor, okay. Abel y Rolando, please. Porque okay, yo estoy igual que Alicia, no... Sorry, ahí me ganan en la tecnología. <laughs> okay, have a good night. God bless you. Good night. Bless you. God 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 bless you.